Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you in this video how to uh, use advanced custom post types with or advanced custom fields with uh, different custom post types that you make. So you can tell how maybe um, you have a website where um, you have a bunch of recipes and that recipe is like it's po uh, your own post type and for that recipe you don't want to just have um, the basic kind of page look which would be for that post type just this and then you just kind of like write recipe you know all the ingredients blah 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 it would be much easier if those fields were all generated for you and then you just fill them in click add and then those pages get filled up with the, with the data um, so how you do that is I use um, custom post type UI and this just works wonderfully with custom fields with these two plugins, you can do huge, ginormous WordPress sites and have them be so easily customizable, it's crazy. Um, so, <clears throat> custom post type UI, let's go here and we're going to leave this and we're going to say that we want to create a new post type and we'll just call it, um, we'll call it movies since that's the example movie and then this is your uh, plural label so when you say add movies or add movie and uh, you can specify the menu name you can um, specify what it will be when it says add new add movie um, add new movie edit movie um, and it'll just keep going and then down here or is it, um, you have your menu icon. So what we can do for this is we can come to dash icons. And this is really cool. Dash icon basically allows you to grab any of the WordPress uh, little icons that you can use. So for movies, we'll use this one. And we'll copy this guy right there. It's dash icons, dash video, dash alt. And we will just go ahead and paste that right into there. And you can say what this uh, post type will uh, support. Um, we'll say it supports featured image and the editor. Um, and we can just, you know, disable those with the fields anyway. Um, so we'll add the post type. And then if we come back into install or, is it, or as you can see now, we've got this post type right here. It says all movies. Um, if we come over here and we say add movie, you can see that's just the basic WordPress kind of blogging platform field. Um, let's come into field groups and we'll say add new and we'll say movie. Movies. Okay. And then in here we'll say add field and we'll say movie title. This is basically similar to what I was doing in the other video, so I'm just going to quickly run through this. As you can see, we've got that running through there like that. And now under post type, show this field group if the post type is equal to movie. And then we can also toggle all those off and hit publish. So now if we come back to the movies post type, you can see that if we add a movie, all these fields are here. So here we can say that we want this movie to be called um, um, uh, I don't know, uh, dogs, and then all, this will be dogs, um, I should have made this a text area, but this will work for now, we'll grab some of this, um, throw that in there, and then we'll throw in one of these photos, and hit publish. So now we've got a post type under movies called dogs. So now, if we come back to our template, um, you can see that I've grabbed, um, basically I just grabbed what's on the WordPress codex for post types, um, querying by post type. So I'm basically making a query and I'm saying, hey, can you grab this post type? Um, and it'll 
grab that post type arguments, put it into a new WordPress query and assign that to a variable. And then we will use that variable to loop through all the posts for that query. Um, so I just basically grabbed this whole section right here. Um, and here we're just going to say movie for the post type and post per page, we'll keep it at 10. Um, there's a bunch of different arguments that you can throw in here. Um, to basically filter out what kind of data you're getting back um, and what's going to be looping through. Um, so here we're going to uh, echo the title um, down here. I'm just going to get rid of this stuff and kind of reformat this so that we can grab um, the correct data, PHP. PHP there, echo, the content, the title. Okay, great. So we got this while statement and this end while. So while this is happening, we're going to say PHP, the title, sure. And this is going to grab your basic title. Um, we'll just set that up in H3. And then we're going to grab, um, well, for this episode, since I made a title field, we'll grab the title field, which is the same as doing what we had done before in the past, so movie title. All right, and then down here, we can say movie. description, then we can put the image in here, I think that's what I called the field, just double check, yeah, movie image. Um, so now if we come back to the home page, um, you can see that this is all underneath all the other content I did before, so this should all show up on here. As you can see, it does. So we'll just say width um, 200, and you can see that we've got dogs. Uh, looks like we have some extra uh, tags here. So let me see if I can find them. Movie title, um, right here is one. <clears throat> and then dogs. Not in there. Um, anyways, I'm super blind right now and I can't see what's going on. Uh, get that out and just see what happens here. Ah, it's right there. <clears throat> So now you've got your dogs, and now you can see how you're grabbing fields from a post type, and it's wonderful. Um, so that's how to grab um, post types from, uh, or grab post type custom fields from a post type. Um, if you wanted to do uh, something like an image gallery within the post type, or repeater fields in the post type where you have more if and while statements. Um, you can just throw them inside the while loop here and do, if you had images, again, you could do something like this and that would work totally fine. You would just have to grab whatever uh, field for the, ga or for the gallery that's in uh, the post type itself. Um, if you guys have any questions on this video, definitely leave a comment. If you liked it, like it, comment, subscribe, you want more um, that's gonna be all for now uh, I should be back with some more uh, more advanced stuff uh, in the future but this awesome plugin and you should totally use it go check it out peace guys